guys, what's up? Trish here, Nugget Queen. So my name takes as Trish, Nugget Queen. Um, yeah, I'm feeling the red. I love a little red number. I feel like we don't get to wear that much when it's not Christmas or Valentine's Day. But I thought McDonald's called for this look. And yeah, just so everyone knows, I'm not like cosplaying. Everyone's like, oh, you're cosplaying like, you know, fast food workers it's like fast food is my comfort like i'm paying homage to fast food workers like this is my comfort going through a drive-thru is my comfort it's raining and i'm going through a drive -thru. like it's my comfort place like i'm gonna do an asmr on it because to me fast food like um employees are like relaxing they're chill like it's it really is and i'm not being funny like that probably sounded like weird how i said that but um i'm being like 100 serious like it is my comfort and like i don't know it's like i'm dressing like gerard way or something like to me it's just like my comfort my safe space or whatever so if you have a problem with it that sounds more like a you thing because this is a comfort thing so today i thought i would do like instead of just a regular mcdonald's mug bake don't worry i'm gonna get my nuggies because i love chicken nuggets and i'm like so hungry but i thought it'd be fun to get a couple menu items of things that i've never tried before or maybe i've tried and like for how they taste like big macs i feel like big macs are just a staple and i was like maybe i should get them a try again like things i don't normally order oh you know my husband loves a quarter pounder so like basically like and it won't go to waste like i'll bring it home and like he'll eat it but basically like maybe i should try a qu like i feel like i've never tried a quarter pounder with cheese like i feel like people love that i do i, I have tried a big mac once for a video and it like wasn't bad but maybe i should genuinely get something that i've like, never tried before obviously i'm gonna get nuggets i've tried nuggets they're my favorite thing here mcdonald nuggets like have my whole heart but um yeah it's raining and everyone is just like in the drive-thru just like trying to get lunch you know the struggle is real and i gotta go get a baked potato or potatoes to make baked potatoes tonight because i'm i'm kind of like on this baked potato for dinner kick it's very odd and weird but okay both of these cars are moving at the same time okay this one looks like it's going to win so it's already placed its order okay so i'm just gonna get a couple things and not try to hold up this line here I don't know what to get. Okay, I'm getting like a quarter pounder. I don't know. There's not much else to get. Oh, the rain is like legit. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. Hi. Yes. Um. Could I get a uh, filet o fish? With just yeah. um, could I get no sauce on that? No. Is it mayonnaise or the tartar sauce? No tartar sauce. Okay. Um. Can I also get a quarter pounder with uh just a quarter pounder okay. and then can i also get a um number five medium or large um a, a medium please medium. regular coke uh can i get a diet coke with that diet coke barbecue? no sauce. Not sauce okay and then can i also get just a big mac by itself uh -huh. and um do you guys have the blueberry pies Okay, can I try one of those too? Okay. Um, that's it. Okay, thank you. I thought it was mayonnaise on the fish. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I guess there's not like a huge menu. Why did I always think there was like so many more options, like a McRib and stuff? I didn't see that on there. So, you know, I thought I'd just try it. Like, chances are I'm not gonna like this because I really just don't like the idea of like pickles and ketchup. And I saw all that on there, but I'm gonna try. You know, I was like, let me just try it. 2023 time to expand my horizons although i don't really need to expand my taste buds on the mcdonald's menu it's not like i need to come here more often than i already want to come here but um yeah let the rain fall down and bring my dream let it wash away my sanity cause i wanna feel the thunder i wanna scream let the rain fall down I'm coming clean. I'm coming clean. Uh -uh. It's always amazing to me how like Hilary Duff or like people like her have stayed like unproblematic and like free of scandal. Like it's really amazing because you know I feel like like nowadays like it seems like everyone has like something that people are like oh like this was bad and this but like Hilary Duff's never had like a like an ink stain on her reputation at all like which is pretty like remarkable applaudable all of the above -able. hi okay thank you
Thank you so much. So we also have a new blueberry pie. Oh my god, it's like seriously coming down. I'm excited for this new blueberry pie too. Ah, I love their pies and the fact that they have a blueberry one. I'm like, yeah, I'm here for it. Their pies are really good. If you have never had a McDonald's pie, you're really missing out. Like, really missing out. I am gonna come back for a round and get like a fresh burger from Moses. Um, it's just raining too. Like sometimes you like squat and like get lunch and stuff, but it's just raining today. It's just like cold, so I was like, why don't just bring you back some McDonald's? And like we're really trying not to do like fast food, just like on our own. Obviously, if I'm doing like a fast food video or something, like if I crave it, like I'm like, hey, I want to go film it or something. But like I really am trying not to. Although I don't crave it too much. Like we usually go out for lunch, which is like a really nice break in the day. Like. I work Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. He works Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we both work from home. So, like, it's a nice little break up of the day to, like, go out and get lunch and then come back and, like, continue working. Um, so, we usually go out for lunch. That's been the habit. Then we usually, like, either cook dinner or order. And that's why I'm kind of, like, on this baked potato kick for dinner because, like, we usually go out for lunch. And then, like, I'm usually pretty full at dinner time. So, baked potato is, like, just enough food. I don't know. It's, like, really weird. It's really easy to make, too. You, like, stick in the oven for, like, an hour, and it's, like, done. <laughs> Here we go. I think it's my first McDonald's of the new year. It's just, like, super exciting. Hi. Yes, thank you. Yes. Yes, thank you so much. You too. Okay. We have black shirts. I want to get the black shirts. Is the red out? Are we not like wearing red shirts anymore at McDonald's? They're really nice. That's what I'm saying, like, people who work, like, the drive-thru windows, they always seem to be really nice. I always, like, hate those TikToks where people go through and, like, harass them or, like, try and prank them or joke them or, like, just try and be stupid and, like, get, like, a viral video. Because it's, like, they're literally so nice. And, like, honestly, I would, like, like, well, old trash would, like, lose her crap on people. Like, if seriously people were trying to, like, punk me, I would, like, go off. And, like, that's like, the drive-thru people, like, are so calm and they're so nice to, like, these assholes that come through. I would be, like, oh, hell no. Mm-mm. <laughs> My nose was so stuffed last week, so like it all came out, but now it's like still kind of in there, and I'm just like, oh, it's so annoying. There was a Rite Aid right here that I used to go to all the time, and it closed down, and it's annoying because that was the closest pharmacy to me. All right, we're gonna park literally in the middle of literally where no one's at because the Rite Aid's closed. So if someone comes next to me, I immediately back out because there's so many parking spaces that I know if someone comes for me. I'm like, nope, not today. Not today, sweet. So I'm actually doing like my first impressions on TikTok because you know I probably just should. But this is my first, this is my makeup food. I'll come back and also give you guys a review. Or should I try it on here? I don't know. I'll I'll maybe TikTok. I'll come back here and give you guys a review. Okay. So I did just take a bite of everything for TikTok. So you guys want to see that? My honest and raw reactions. This was really good. I'm just saying it for dessert because this spoiler alert was my favorite. <laughs> okay. So there's a lot. <laughs> I unpacked my food on there. It was like really surprising. Okay. I gave you guys my results and then we'll just have like a proper mukbang here. So first and foremost, okay. Okay, so I had the Big Mac, the quarter pounder with cheese, and the filet of fish. So of course I got fries because you know. The filet fish so good. I had two bites. Oh, the only thing I would get is no cheese. I mean, it's basically just like fish and chips, but it's actually so good. I wasn't expecting the fish to be that good because fish can be, I smelled it, it smelled really fishy, and then I was kind of like, mm, it's not going to be good, but it kind of tastes like a fish stick. It can barely taste with cheese. I usually don't like cheese, like with meat or protein. Like, kosher no just kidding but like i don't mind cheese by itself like grilled cheese cheese pizza mac and cheese but like cheese and meat i don't i don't like it but this is like not bad you can't really taste the cheese and the fish itself is really good i gave this a 10 out of 10 i wasn't this ex like i wasn't expecting it to like slap so hard it's like so good so the other thing that i like thought was really good because i love the crunch of it and i love the sauce of it the only thing i would get is like no pickles that's like the theme i don't i just don't like the smell of pickles at all but the big mac is good i love how like double decker this is it's so 
there's a nice crunch with the lettuce. And you guys know I don't like sauce. But that sauce is like really tasty. Mm. The Big Mac is really good. I actually give this like a 9 out of 10. I don't think like I don't think I'd order it again, but it's good. I just love their nuggets so much. I would order the filet fish again for sure. Then the quarter pounder with cheese was basically like I had tried this first and it was good. But it's basically like a Big Mac, but like not as beefy, not as like impressive. Um to me this tastes like a grilled cheese with like a meat patty. And there's some onion on it. I can smell the pickle, but there's not a lot of pickle in it. But you do taste the patty more. There's ketchup on there, too. The McDonald's patty is pretty good. Like, I think I would get a plain burger. Because I love burgers. But I would just get it plain. And the onion's actually kind of nice, too. I would order just the... A hamburger with onion, no ketchup, no cheese, but it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Ketchup kind of throws me off. Is there ketchup in the Big Mac? I don't think so. I'm kind of eh. That blueberry pie was amazing. We'll get you at that because it was like dessert. That was amazing. So. Seriously, all that was so good. But, you guys know, I love my nuggies and my fries, so I was like, let me just save some room for that. <laughs> this is why you should expand your horizon and try new things. I'm impressed with the menu. My dolls is really good today. Really good today. I love, I do love fast food. I don't ever foresee myself saying no fast food ever. Because here's the thing, I don't, I used to eat it, I used to eat it like probably every day when I lived in that apartment in Hollywood the one with the stairs is kind of dark the kitchen floor apartment I probably had a fast food if not once a day every other day for sure McDonald's breakfast and it wasn't easy to get to the fast food place around there they were always on busy streets like Highland La Brea I never cooked for myself. Now I love cooking. Like, we go to the grocery store like three times a week to get fresh produce and stuff to cook with. But there is something comforting about pulling over to McDonald's. Getting some nuggies. <laughs> But, okay, if you're someone who doesn't like fast food, honestly, good for you, for real. Like, it is probably better, obviously, but if we grew up on fast food, mm, mm -hmm. this, this feels like childhood to me simpler times this is like my meditation just taking me out for a second i've been having a lot of fun on tiktok eating my nuggets <laughs> i did like four tiktok eating nuggets <laughs> guys we almost sold this car we offered like literally fifty thousand more than we paid for this car to sell it back <laughs> Which is unheard of. Usually you lose money. I've always lost money with cars. Leasing, buying. Cars genuine, generally depreciate. And it was very tempting. But this car is giving me creative juices. <laughs> mm. I am back in my chicken nugget era. And I'm loving I wish y'all could be here eating with me. When the Trisha Museum is done being built, 
I want to try and get a franchise McDonald's to put in there. <laughs> Just think how epic would that be? Mm. You can't compete with the nuggets. I almost attempted to make them at home. My favorite guy, Joshua Weisserman. He like recreates chicken nuggets from like Wendy's, Burger King. I think he did McDonald's. I love him. He's like my king. The nuggets didn't even look close to how McDonald's comes out. And he put a lot more work and effort into his. Mm. This is relaxing. I'm actually so like chill right now. It's like weird. You know how cool it is to be sober? <clears throat> I was doing a sound like I woke up this morning feeling like a chicken out on TikTok. Like I can like look back and laugh at like obviously my memes now. And like it's funny. Like I'm kind of iconic, right? But when I did that video, I was on so many drugs I was like coming down from it it was like the next morning I can see in my eyes how I just kind of gave up on life like I just didn't really care what the next day would bring if it would come at all like I just didn't care and like it makes me really sad that I was like that because I, I you know looking at me right I mean even back then people like we're like, oh, like, <laughs> like when I would say stuff, like I'm trying to like get off of pain pills and stuff, people would be like, oh my God, she's lying about this. She's lying about that. We're like, clearly that was somebody like hurting. And also like, why would I lie about that? Seriously, like why, when I'm like working with brands and stuff, why would I like lie about being on drugs? Like that only hurts your image. It only like, it doesn't, it's not cool. It doesn't look cool at all. But now like, now when I go back to videos, like when I was clearly messed up, whether it's my own videos or like other people's videos or lives or whatever, like all the comments, like, oh my God, they were so faded and stuff like that. But at the time, like no one, no one cared. Um, and it's like really sad. Cause I like didn't care about myself. Like I kind of knew, like, I kind of just didn't care. Like I wasn't at the point where I'm like, okay, I just want to not be here anymore. But I kind of just didn't care either way. I just wanted to be numb. And if whatever happened, happened, like I didn't care. Cause if something weren't happened to me, I wouldn't even feel it in the moment. Cause I was just so, I was just numbing myself constantly. And it makes me sad because so many people struggle with substance abuse, prescription pill abuse, you know, alcohol, all this stuff like that. And it's, it's so hard because sometimes you like, don't think you have a problem. Like for me, I was like, well, I'm not an addict. I don't have a problem. But like, I did have a problem. Like I was using to numb. And it's like so sad how many people suffer from that silently and people don't know. Or the people who are more obvious about it get ridiculed, criticized, made fun of, rather than like people like trying to get help for them, you know? I fall more into the category of like, it was kind of uh, like maybe somewhat unassuming or unsuspecting like, until I look back. <laughs> but I love being sober. I've been sober from. With the exception of my C-section, I had pain medication in the hospital, but I did not continue it when I got out of the hospital. Um, I've been sober from like pain pills at home, recreation use, prescription, all of that um, since December of 2020. I never really had a problem with alcohol. I like have a sip of champagne. I don't really like the taste of it. So I have alcohol sometimes, but I literally don't have any problem with that because I get sick after like two sips. But I've been sober off like any sort of pill, substance any of that stuff like that again not alcohol but like drug related since 2020 and it feels amazing it's kind of took a weird like sad turn all of a sudden but um last year I like there was two people that I knew that I I knew closely um I want to say we were close but I knew I was, I was close with at a certain point in our lives. Two people that I knew both in 2019 that passed away. 
and again I hadn't had communication with either of them like probably since 2020 um but like it really shook me when I heard about both of them because it was just like wow like And they didn't say what the causes were and I'm not speculating at all, but like, I just know that they struggled. Like I've struggled before. Um, and both of them had been pretty open about, you know, their past struggles. Again, I don't know. I hadn't talked to either of them since 2020. So I don't know the circumstances of their passing, nor do I think we should speculate that kind of stuff. But I just know like, you know, there's people, there's people that needed help. And it just, it breaks my heart, you know, that can't even eat right now. I get like sad. I'm gonna go very proud with you. Good people. The addicts, any addicts I've known, recovering or currently, when you get treatment, the saying is like, once an act, always an act. I said that before and it's like offended people. It's not meant to offend. Like, I'm an addict for the rest of my life. Like, once you're an addict, you're always an addict. You could be a recovering addict. You could be sober for 20 years, but you still have those addicted tendencies. You were an addict. You are an addict. But all the addicts I've known are really sweet people, like, kind people that aren't, that have become addicted from circumstances, from, you know, just, it didn't genetically like it just there's so many reasons why people are addicts and, and all of them have been the ones that i've known have been so they're like such kind people such nice people they don't really mean harm and really the harm they're doing is to themselves because there's like they don't know how to cope in other ways and but people make fun of them or you know judge them it does the opposite like you know they need love and when I got when I was shown love from my husband boyfriend at the time when he proposed to me on December 18 2020 I was like I'm like I need to like someone loves me I gotta do better for them like that's originally why I, like stop doing like Xanax and all those things like I just was like I need to get better for them like this person loves me he he believes in me I need to start believing in myself and I don't want to embarrass this person I don't want this person to run away I don't want to push them away and I needed the love like I needed someone to show me love and it, it really fixed me but I'm gonna have a piece of this blooper part I'm gonna save I'm kind of full anyways but this is like really good <laughs> and the trying new things sorry this took like a turn mm. Cream cheese and blueberry. Mm. I still have very much addictive ten tendencies. I love food. But I do try and eat. Obviously, I eat like a little more than I normally do. I do try to eat in moderation. I, like Pregnancy helped me with that, like cutting my portions in half. This is really good. Mm. It's so warm and flaky. It's like perfect on this rainy day. Mm -mm -mm. You guys are doing well. <laughs> I really just like zoned out, but back on that note, being sober is cool. It's great when you can like feel things in life. It's great not feeling numb all the time, being aware there's pain in this world and there's pain you'll feel but getting through it and being stronger from it and if you are currently struggling with addiction or any sort of substance abuse you can get better there is hope no matter how many times you mess up relapse there's always Take it an hour at a time. Don't even think of it as being sober for a day. Don't even think of it being sober for a week or a lifetime. Think of it being sober in the now. Baby steps. All right, guys. <laughs> that went from woo, woo, to sound my heart. All right, there it is. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers, McDonald's.
Your food is my comfort. 